making Rio shiny for the world and its own people. That was the promise of the Olympics. It's still one voiced by Olympic officials. There will be a Rio de Janeiro before the Olympic Games, and there will be a better and new Rio de Janeiro after the Olympic Games. The reality in Rio and the surrounding state, student and teacher strikes, polluted water, and protests over crumbling infrastructure and corrupt politicians. The so-called marvelous city isn't so marvelous less than two months before the games. People are furious over filthy water and a superbug found right offshore at Olympic venues. These protesters demanded emergency funds from the Rio State Environmental Secretary, money that just isn't there. Transportation projects meant to roll out before the games are delayed. A new light rail project broke down on its first day. Meanwhile, a new subway line is only partially up and running. It needs a $390 million federal loan to stay on track. More pressing needs, like health care and schooling, are in crisis. This high school student has been camped out for months. There's never any money to invest in education and never any money for health care. They spend something like a billion dollars on the metro. That's a lot of money. Corruption angers people too. The five main companies in charge of building Olympic venues are caught up in an investigation into billions of dollars of kickbacks at the state oil company. On top of it all, the city is suffering from 10% unemployment. Earlier this week, Rio's mayor acknowledged problems, but said people would eventually be proud of their transformed city. There are occupations, protests, and demonstrations nearly every day in Rio de Janeiro. People come out, block streets, do sit-ins, because they're fed up with the corruption and the deterioration of all their public services. The rolling protests show no sign of stopping. It's basic economics. There's no money right now to fix the problems that fuel people's anger and the demonstrations. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.